So after we just hit the button to basically export our data to Google Sheets, the first thing, the first time we do this is it's going to basically say, hey, we need to make sure it's you. So we'll click on it and say continue, sends us a code. We use a, a VoIP phone system called Dialpad, which allows us to get our text messages, everything else right up on that. And we'll go. And as we would have seen here, basically, as it finally pulled up, we would have seen um, Intuit number, boom. It's going to go straight to your computer. Nice little trick, of course. But we come back here, boom. This is now going through simplifying export with Google Sheets. Export faster, save time with one step export, collaborate real time, and save reports in one spot. Yay, spot. Get started. We need your permission to connect. We'll need an open window. Okay. Click allow. So it's saying we'll open a window. Uh, you're going to be. When you do this, you should actually be signed into the Google account that you'd want to do it with. Um, I have multiple different Google accounts, so if you didn't do it that way, it could get confusing where it's going to. Uh, let's see here. Now we've got our stuff full screen, so let's come back up here. Okay. We have pop-up, always allow, done. And let's go try again. There we go. Grant permission. See your files, upload, download your files, delete your files, see the names, emails of people you share. Okay, hmm. Share and stop sharing your files, so forth. We'll allow. You're allowing into it to see a lot of stuff. Allow. Google Sheets is now connected. Yaha, got it. Now I'm more of an Excel person, so let's see if it's convinced me to switch over. So this is pretty cool. Obviously, it's pulling up. looks just like Excel does. I guess one of my biggest questions would be, um, Will this be able to kind of like auto update if I create it once? Now, if you find an application that does 80% of what you want it to do, you should be happy with it. If it does more than that, you probably create it yourself. Um, so now we've got all of our information inside of here. If we come in, if you're looking for this information, usually if it's special add ons, you come to add ons here and you could see like the different connections and such. Uh, but this is basically just pulling the information exporting it one time. It's not a live back and forth, but it's exporting the data and providing it to you to see all the information that you had. This would then make it to where you could share this with somebody else and they could easily update stuff online. Um, so actually a really good example or a good use of this would be for clients where you have um, uncategorized expenses. Uh, that'd be great use of it. You got a list of all the uncategorized expenses, populate it out, save it, have them do their responses, you'd be able to work back and forth and collaborate towards it. So if we come back now to QuickBooks, we can see that everything's all back to normal again. So in this scenario, we basically created again a flat file either for Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. Uh, 